The images that work best are the ones that are high contrast, have a single subject, and are generally square. If you don't have the cube already in the scene, go ahead and add one. Hit tab to enter edit mode. While still in edit mode, add a cylinder. Hit G, then Z to move the selection vertically. Press S to scale the selection. Okay, from the face menu, select Intersect Boolean. Change the option to Union. Select Edit and then go down to Preferences. Select Add-ons and then do a search for Image. Press G, then X to move the Lego along the X axis. Shift A, go to Image, and then select Images as Planes. The more square each face is, the easier it will be down the line. Control R is the loop cut tool. To get more faces, go to the face context menu and click subdivide. There will be a Lego at each vertex. For the modifiers tab on the right, add a geometry node modifier. Click and drag from the corner to create a new window. Change the window to the geometry node editor. Connect it and then pick the Lego from the dropdown. Select the Lego and go back into the edit mode and then you can hit A to select all the faces. And then you can press S to scale down the Lego. Tab back into the object mode. Open the object context menu, go to set origin and then select geometry to origin. Keep rescaling the Lego until there's no overlap between all the Legos. With the image selected, enter edit mode. Scale the image so the gaps between the Legos are equal. Select the Lego and add a material on the Material Properties tab. Open a new window and go to the Shader Editor. Hit Shift A to add, go to Texture and then Image Texture. Next, add a mapping note under the Vector category. Lastly, add an object info node that's under the input category. Connect all the nodes and select the image from the drop down menu. Use the mapping node to center the image. Select the image and then enter edit mode. Subdivide to get more Legos onto the image. Select the Lego, enter edit mode, and scale it down so they're not overlapping. Q 
keep repeating until you have the desired detail you want in the mosaic. And these are some of the limitations you get when you use this method. <laughs> 